guys, Crystal here from Sea Lock Candles and Soaps, and we are doing a soap today. Um, as you guys know, I am a candle maker, and I had just enough of this fragrance to make this uh, loaf. Um, it's a it's the uh, Nature's Garden Lick Me All Over scent, and I, like I said, I had just enough, so I'm excited to put this into a soap. Uh, my lye, my aloe, my goat's milk, my kale and clay, and my oatmeal is already in my bowl. I'm going to give it a buzz before we put in our fragrance and our cream. I'm just using cream today. I'm out of coconut milk and yogurt, so it's just a little bit of cream. Oh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh, I don't know how this is going to act, but I did look it up. And from what I can tell, it acts pretty decent in soaping. Um, oh, I am going to be piping. Yes, it'll be my third time piping, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put the scent in. Oh, it smells gorgeous. This scent is a little strong. I like nice and strong scents, but it's like really strong. Oh, I see some goat's milk floating. Come here. give it a little bit of a stir I'm going to transfer it into my smaller bowl here so I can pour it off I am going to weigh these because I need each one to be a certain amount so let me go ahead and get this poured in here I know all of it's not going to fit but a good amount of it does all right let me get my scale And this right here is going to be my topping, so I need to weigh it first. topping I will put the, the color in in a minute I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these weighed out whoa I went over a little bit Now I can pour the rest of it in here. And I, I always tell you guys this when I use this big old bucket. This is a lard bucket. But I don't use lard in my soaps. Uh, my grandmother gives them to me. Because I need something big enough when I do either piping or my five pound loaf. Um, I need something big enough to hold all my oils, and I don't have a bowl. So she gives me these buckets, and they work perfectly for my uh, bigger batches. I usually use this, the one I'm pouring into, for all my batches, because they're usually about four pounds, four and a half pounds. And this little one does just perfect for that. But when I need something a little bit bigger, I use the other one, the big one. And it is hot in here, guys. I am burning up. I just went and turned my heat off. I was like, good lordy, I need to turn that sucker off. 
Cause it was hot. All right, now this one should be just the right amount. Should be. And it is. And I, I got a little bit left over, so separate them into these four. Scrape the bucket. Always got to scrape it. Get every last bit of soap out. Don't like to waste nothing. And of course, I made my little mess. Like I always do. As Katie over at Royalty Soap says, Scrapey, scrapey. I love it when she says that. It's hilarious. Okay, let me put this to the side. I am done with that. Let me get my paper towels and clean up my mess. My mess that I constantly make. Uh, I know I do. Alright guys, let's get to coloring. I'm going to use two shades of pink, a brown, and a white. So first off, let me color my toppings. I already know what colors I want them. So let's do them first. That's about all that one needs. And I need some in here. So there's my brown. Now for my pink. Which one did I want to do? I think I'm going to do this one. Alright, so there's those two. Now this pink. And white. So we got Pink, let's see, raspberry red, violet red, white, and brown. Looks good to me. And then the topping is going to be pink and brown. Alright, let me get the white first because it's the lightest color. And it's still, it's beautifully, it's not even accelerating the slightest bit. <laughs> some of this off. Oop, wrong one. Alright, let me get some of this brown. And hopefully while I'm doing the soap, this will set up. pink and brown together. Alright. Alright, 
right, let me get my spatulas. And let's, I'm going to, I should have stuck out one in this one. All right, I'm going to mix this up and set it to the side. Get the air bubbles out. Hopefully this is enough. I'm learning as I go. The first time I piped, I had a whole bunch left over. The second time I piped, I had a little bit left over. So this time I went even less. So I'm hoping I have enough. It should be enough, but we shall see. And I'm going to use the same piping tip that I've been using because um, I want to get used to the, those piping tips before I move on to something else. Here, I don't know where to put that. Let me put this right here. Put that there. This goes in the refrigerator. See, I'm all over the place. Yikes. All right, let me get these stirred up. And hopefully my topping or my piping will be setting up as I make this soap. And it's still cooperating. It's very fluid. Good and nice and fluid. No rising. Anything like that. Which if you've made this lick me all over soap before then you know that. I mean there's been tons of people that's used this in a soap. And I am just following right behind. I did my first black raspberry vanilla soap the other day. Oh wow. It was exciting. And I piped that one too. It's the second time I was that I piped. So I was excited about that. It is thickening up just a little bit. Alright, let me get my mold. And we got a little four and a half, well it's not even quite four and a half pound, but four, a little over four pound mold here. And if this does thicken up much more, then I might be able to do a hanger swirl. I've done so many drop swirls, it's nice to do something different, you know? Okay. That looks good guys. Let me uh, clean it off. Ah! I messed it up. Mm. 
and I will show you what it looks like before we get the piping on. Alright, here is what it looks like so far. I am going to get rid of these. I'm going to let this set up a little bit more. It's not quite ready to put the piping on just yet. And I'm going to check on my piping. So we will be right back. Alright guys, I am back. And let me tell you, it took absolutely forever for this to set up. Oh my goodness. It has been darn near an hour, I promise you. And it's only one pound of soap that I'm using. And it's been almost an hour. It's just crazy. All right. Now, I've got my piping ready. And I'm going to go ahead and start. And I'm doing just the same thing as I did the other times. I'm just going to go straight across. I don't have any designs in mind. I'm still learning. So, I'm learning as I go. That lip one was real big. I'm learning how to do the pressure and... All that and I hope this is enough uh, soap because I don't really have much left in my bowls over there Let me scoot some of this down. If I can. Maybe if I lay it down and do this. There we go. I'm getting it on my side here and twist this thing and there we go I might be able to get enough to get down the middle here or to get down the loaf And it's not going to work, guys. And we'll have to put more in it. But I'm not going to pause you. I'm going to go ahead and try to put some more in here. Because I do want to do another thing on the top. So, let me wipe my hands off. Because i got soap all over them. Let me get my things here. See if I've got enough. I think one pound might not be enough, you guys. I might need a pound and a half, so I know that next time. I think I got plenty of brown left. Just not that much pink. So some of this might be a little bit more brown than pink. And my pink set up faster than my brown did for some reason. Let's see if I can get scrape it out here. Get all the pink out of here that I can get. We shall see. Alright, now. I'm going to turn this around and hopefully scoot all this downward. I'm getting it everywhere. Alright. Let me wipe my hands off here. 
and we are almost done guys ah soap's coming out okay and I think I'm gonna try ah to scoot this down because I want to do just one down the middle That looks all kinds of awkward, but it'll do. All right. Now, I am done popping. Yay. Let me clean up a little bit here. And I'm going to put a little bit of glitter on it. So let me get my glitter. Where's my glitter? There it is. If I can open it with my slick hands. All right. And I know it's not all the way down the middle like it's supposed to be. Oh well. It'll still look pretty. Let me put that back up and screw this cap back on and I will show you my beauty so here is what she looks like even the awkward piece down the middle <laughs> so my bad piping skills showing once again this was lick me all over all right guys of course the cutting video will be right behind this one um, I have to go to the po post office now. My husband just got home and he's going to drive me to the post office. So until later guys, bye bye. Hey guys, Crystal here. I'm back and we are back to cut the Lick Me All Over soap. Here is what it looks like. I love it. There's the side. I'm so excited to cut this one open guys. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to get it up close. Look at all the sparkles and the pretty piping. This was, I think, my third time piping. And I think this one looks better than any one I've done. I'm very proud of myself for the piping on this one. Even though it is kind of crooked. Like this one's way over there. And that one's piled up. And that one's really smushed down. It's okay. It's not perfect. But, I mean, I'm working on it. So, let's get an end piece here. Ooh, that looks pretty. Look at that. Um, we did a hanger swirl with this one. So I'm super excited to cut into it. Oh, I like that. I've always wanted to do pink with brown. And there's the top. My not centered piping. <laughs> But I always thought pink and brown just looked so pretty together. Look at the swirls. Oh, I love it. There's the top of that one. It should be over here a little bit if it was going to be nice and perfect. But I am not very good at piping. This I am new to the whole piping thing. So I am proud of myself for at least it looking like this. I think it's pretty. It smells amazing. I use the very last bit of my fragrance oil on this. Um, I make candles with it. And um, I had just enough left to do this batch. Oh, that one's pretty. Let me put it up close. Isn't that pretty?
Let me get a paper towel, guys. Clean off my wire here. Okay. Trying to cut them straight. Ooh, that's pretty. I absolutely love the hanger tool. Even though I don't have like a professional hanger tool, it's just my own little concoction of a hanger and some straws. I still love the way it makes the swirls. Ooh, that one's really pretty. It's my new favorite toy in my piping set. I've got two new favorite toys, my hanger tool and my piping set. That one's pretty. It's real wispy. I like this, guys. I think it's real nice. I think it turned out pretty cool. This is the last one I've got to cut. I've got some in the mold right now that's been curing since yesterday. Or setting up, not curing, but setting up. And um, I, I just took my test soap where I tested a fragrance oil and a mica. I just took it out of the mold so it's setting on my counter. I'll probably cut that later on tonight. I've got an end piece and I'm going to try to get one more piece out of it. See if we can get a... There we go. But aren't those pretty? There's the top again. Of course, it's not centered, but that's okay. And then our end piece. Alright, guys. This was cutting with me all over. And I want to thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please do subscribe and hit the like button. And, of course, comment. Love to hear you guys' comments. And I will write back to you. Um, but thanks for coming along with me. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.